Today, our topic is captioned, Together but Isolated. Mark 10, 9, the Bible says, What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Marriage is instituted for the good of man primarily to provide an opportunity for better living. Indeed, humans are relational beings, and we all know that. We are better off in cordial and peaceful relationships than being isolated. I have come to discover, however, that one of the things that can easily destroy a marriage is a husband and wife living together but isolated from each other. Sadly, study shows that women experience isolation in marriage more than men. Therefore, women out there, especially those of you who are already married, take caution. Isolation is one of the Satan's chief strategy for destroying marriage. It's my prayer for all of you that are married already, that your marriage shall not be destroyed. And for those of you who are single, who are not married yet, I pray for you today that when you get into marriage, the devil will not be able to find access into your home. Togetherness implies oneness. It is the state of being close to one another. And that is your spouse in this case. It is a warm fellowship among members of a family. The quality and state or condition of close association. It is a pleasant feeling of being united with your spouse in friendship and understanding. This is what togetherness is all about. On the other hand, being isolated means having minimal contact or little in common with your spouse. It means being separated or in solitary. In marriage, it is possible to live together with your spouse under the same roof and yet be isolated. This is a paradox, but it truly happens in many marriages and homes today. What does isolation in marriage mean? You might ask. A painful awareness that you lack meaningful connection with your spouse. It involves a feeling of inner emptiness, a sense of being uninvolved or rejected. When isolation infects a marriage, a husband and a wife exclude each other. They feel distant, they lack closeness and real intimacy. This is not the will of God for you in marriage. You may even live in the same house, share the same bed, eat at the same dinner table, watch the same television, and still be isolated. You can talk, but you don't communicate and live together without sharing life. I want you to examine yourself today, listener. In your marriage, are you together or are you isolated? When there is isolation in marriage, some people tend to avoid their spouse or give them the silent treatment. You know, there's this common saying that silence is the best answer for a fool. When there is isolation in marriage, that marriage becomes less sexual and feel less attracted to each other, or they might just feel disconnected over time. Some people, have the attitude such as, who cares? Why try? Tomorrow we'll talk about it. Let's just sleep for today. That's your problem, not mine. Such attitude, nonchalant attitude sets in. And this may lead to separation or divorce at the end of the day. Like a terminal virus, isolation can invade marriages silently, slowly, painlessly at first. But by the time you become aware of it and its terrible effects, it may be too late to handle. So you listener today, it's time for you to wake up now and deal with it. If you are experiencing isolation in your marriage, don't keep watching. Don't think that things will change with time. 
you have to accept responsibility and deal with that virus so that togetherness can be restored to your home. What are some of the causes and cure of isolation in marriage? Let me just mention a few of it right now. Cause number one I've come to discover is busy work schedule. Times are changing and some people have to work extra hard to make ends meet. I understand that. Some even have to keep two or three jobs and this can be time consuming and very demanding. Busy work schedule can lead to you neglecting your marriage and your family members. No one who is constantly neglected will want to give attention to the person who constantly neglects them or take advantage of them. Yes, you have to work to make provision for the financial needs in your home. But you must take caution. When you are constantly neglected and taken for granted, peace, harmony, and the zeal to relate will automatically become stalled. Many are forced into isolation in such cases in a bid to recover their self-esteem. What is the cure therefore? My advice to you, no matter how busy your work schedule, you should create time for your spouse and for your family members. This is very crucial. It's not necessarily how long, but how well. So spend time together. Schedule outings, no matter how short. Go on dates. Play games together. Enjoy activities that foster togetherness. You can go out on a short walk, probably around where you live, with your spouse, with your children. It may be just a few times in a day. Do exercises together. This will help togetherness. Number two cause is unresolved conflict. Constant conflict and rifts, I've discovered, brings lack of understanding. And this can lead to isolation in a marriage. When conflict is carried over, it becomes difficult to understand each other. And this may lead to constant blames and prejudice. No atmosphere of peace. In turn, mar such marriages begin to tear apart. You must be very, very careful. What is the cure for this? I advise very strongly. Understand first that ensuring peace in your home and your marriage benefits you first and foremost, then it benefits your spouse and benefits your family. Never go to bed angry with each other. This is one thing that helps us in our own marriage. Find a way to resolve your differences and move forward. Don't hold grudges as this can bring division and isolation. Remember, resentment and oneness cannot coexist. Married couples under the sound of my voice right now, are you holding grudges against your spouse? Deal with it today. Don't wait till tomorrow. It may be too late. Number three cause I've come to discover is abuse. And when I talk about abuse, I'm talking about abuse of any kind, whether it be physical, financial, emotional, any kind of abuse in a marriage can certainly lead to isolation. There are homes today where couples fight and abuse each other physically, fighting, beating to the point of injury. What do you have to gain by so doing? Some cases, it's financial abuse. The husband refuses to make provision for financial needs in the home and keeps making demand on the wife. This ought not to be. Some cases, it may be the wife earning and keeping her own money, hiding it from the husband. This ought not to be. No abuse of any kind should be allowed in your marriage. Most couples who find themselves in an abusive relationship develop defense mechanisms in a bid to protect their well-being by isolating themselves. This should not be. Emotional abuse, you find in some cases, the woman especially nagging the husband, speaking abusive words, derogatory words, looking at him from up to down and sizing him up. That ought not to be. Nagging must stop in your marriage today. 
women and especially wives listen very carefully stop nagging your husband because it may result into isolation what's the cure don't torture your spouse physically don't torture your spouse financially or emotionally if you want to enjoy togetherness that physical abuse must stop if you have been abusing each other in marriage physically i pray that today we we'll put an end to it treat your spouse with the same respect and love you require learn to do small favors for each other for instance is your husband struggling with his necktie help him, help him out put it in shape let your spouse know he or she can come to you for any help when challenged husband is your wife struggling to put on her dress in the morning help her out you can help her to put on the zip on her dress little acts of kindness these are the things that we do in our marriage often than not i have to go to my husband who helps me out either in doing one thing or another remember in marriage you are one and your spouse is a reflection of you work together as a team and finally number 4 cause is competition somebody says competition yes competition in marriage between husband and wife this is not healthy it leads to isolation when a couple begins to see themselves as rivals rather than partners slowly they begin to isolate from each other competition replaces cooperation two cannot work together except they be agreed amos 3:3 until there's an agreement between two people before there will be closeness what's the cure in marriage you are a team on the same camp and not competitors a team wins when they work together not against each other husband stop competing with your wife wife stop competing with your husband you are his extension and she is your extension We have several examples in scripture. Priscilla and Aquila is an example in Acts 18. They were like-minded couples. They opened up their home as a meeting place. You can read that in 1 Corinthians 16. And they actively pursued every opportunity to add to God's kingdom. You can do the same thing. Zechariah and Elizabeth together they prayed faithfully and waited patiently for God's promised child. They served the Lord faithfully. despite their old age Luke 1 7 and 13 you can read it there in conclusion listener isolation in marriage often happens slowly as the disconnection between couples gradually increases over the years if not handled properly isolation impacts negatively on any marriage it is rarely said If you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. You will go far in life and enjoy a great marriage. Remember, we don't function well as humans when we're in isolation. Isolation is an enemy. So, why don't you do away with it? Are you experiencing isolation in your marriage? It's time for you to do something about it. And I believe that's why God is bringing this message to you right now. Take step. Look up to God for solution. And I pray for you right now. Anyone under the sound of my voice experiencing isolation in your marriage, I decree that that storm be over in Jesus name. I pray that the wisdom of God to take the right steps be revealed to you right now. And I command the total liberty and freedom so shall it be in Jesus name finally are you born again until you are born again you cannot enjoy what we are talking about but today right now you can pray the salvation prayer say after me oh god i come to you today i'm a sinner jesus save me wash me from today i am born again amen Congratulations if you said that prayer from your heart you are now a child of God log on to the website address 
on the bottom of your screen and fill the salvation prayer form. Send your testimonies also through the same medium and connect with the social media handles at the bottom of your screen. Always remember, God is too faithful to fail. See you next time. Bye.